and having more credibility. And it doesn't mean we have all the answers either. Uh, but the establishment is out of gas. They have no credibility. And you've got these different criminal camps that are trying the same old thing. And I just wanted to say to Dr. Pachenik briefly and get his brief response. He's got to go and we've got to go. He was on a few months ago and he said, you know, at the CFR and all the rest of it, I fed the line that Jeb Bush should run, knowing that once he got back in, we used 9-11 on him. And then I see Trump start using 9-11 on him. And then I have some discussions. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, and that's indeed what they're doing is basically baiting uh, the media in to attack him as a 9-11 truther. And then he's going to destroy the Clintons and the Bushes with it. But they were smart enough. It got real big and then crickets, no stories, 2,000 plus stories, and then no stories. The word went out, shut that down. So now, obviously, I can let everybody in on the hat trick uh, because, you know, now the uh, – this particular cast of the fishing rod uh, lure was somewhat successful, but not fully successful. Plus, it's good to let them know that they're not the only ones that play games. Okay, so I'll just leave it at that. And again, I'm not here with some agency. I'm not being advised by people. I'm just here common sense. And then I talk to Pachenik, and then I talk to some other people, and they're on the same page, and I wonder if they know each other. Pachenik says they don't. But it's just people that get what's going on uh, and know how to respond to it. But that is pretty exciting, Pachenik. Well, not only are you correct, but let me give you an example. Cornell University, which is considered a left, uh, a liberal school, uh, produced three of the most fascist neocons. Sandy Berger, who died, fortunately, recently. Paul Wolfowitz and Steve Hadley, all involved in 9-11. Sandy on behalf of Clinton, Paul Wolfowitz, and, and uh, the other person on behalf of uh, Bush. And they were all in Quiller and Dagger uh, Secret Society at Cornell, which I knew nothing about. Harvard University, Mass Mental Health, involved in the storyline of the false flag in Sandy Hook, as well as Yale Psychiatry Department. I indicted all of them, and they couldn't respond. And I indicted them of corruption, of moral corruption, and financial corruption, and they couldn't say a word. Those are three major universities. And believe me, once you have those universities in a state of fear, now you have a real problem because it's gone to the educational level, the media level, the government level. And I'm not being paranoid. This is very... Well, what they can't thing. deal with is that now the military, the police, the local governments know the narrative. I mean, the governor of Texas pretty much listens every day. I'm not going to brag about it. I don't want to get into inside baseball. They're in trouble. And more and more, we're, we're willing to be attacked. We're willing to be killed, I guess, if we have to be. And I don't think they know how to deal with people that aren't cowards like them. Well, the point is your influence, and I know, for example, at Rutgers University in New Jersey, is immense. It is absolutely immense, and, and that feedback doesn't come back to you, but it comes back to me through the professors. Your influence on the students in Cornell, at Harvard, and Yale is far greater than they realize, and the people who've been brought in as the dupes of those universities, believe me, they've been brought out by Sandy Weil of Citibank. For example, Cornell University Medical College which was an elite medical school, 180 years in existence, changed its name from Weill Medical College. It was bought and totally bought out and grafted by Sandy Weill, a total crook from Citibank, and now it's called Weill Medical College. The same thing with Icon Medical College and Geffen Medical College. So what you see is happening is the money of the private sector is co-opting any of the institutions we have, at the same time co-opting the political and, and, and military-industrial complex. That's why our generals, they are so bloated, and there's so many of them, more than it ever been in World War II. I don't have a George Marshall. So we, you and I, are in effect acting as the George Marshall to say, get rid of these four-star generals, get rid of these three-star admirals, get rid of these bloated political generals who really are not of great service. What I need are the captains, the majors, and lieutenants who will not make it up the system. And I ask them again, to seriously understand what you are following through. Those who have committed false flags or have gone into killing Americans or anyone else will pay the price. Believe me, I have always been successful in retribution. And that the CIA knows that, the intelligence community knows that, and the military knows that. That's why they always hand me a subpoena and they monitor me repeatedly because I don't make false promises. And they will pay. 
whether it's Trump who comes in and makes them pay or others who are in the institution that will make them pay, but they will not continue to do this, and Obama's on notice. And you have a Secret Service who knows more about any of our presidents, has never been able to come forth as an American institution. Yeah, I've been by told by the faith. Secret Service, I'm just going to leave it at this, not specifics. They didn't break any laws. They just said it's worse than you know, it's worse than you say. I mean, I've had Bongino on, who was the head of their foreign detail. He said it's worse than you say, Alex. They it say is. it's so insane i wouldn't believe it dr pachenik stepachenik.com we appreciate you coming on powerful interview we'll talk to you again soon sir and god bless you and your audience thank you very much for having done everything you did no no thank you sir no i don't Bye. like to get on the show here and talk about how big we are and how effective we are but at this point we have to because the enemy already knows that and i like to kind of be under the radar over the years and just being effective but now believe me imagine there's not many shows like this and what do you think government's tuning into and I'm just a guy from Texas that analyzes it and has experts on. And I just want my country back. I, I don't have any personal beefs with these people. I was screaming at Obama last night during the piece I did because I'm just sick of it, man. Blaming the Second Amendment for the jihadis he brought in. I don't know what really happened. All I know is you're not taking my freedoms, buddy. And then they got freaks in MSNBC and the New York Daily News saying the conservatives deserve to have their heads blown off. What? What? It just doesn't compute that you're such freaks. You're, you just you you run everything too. That's dangerous. You people are scum. You have no good taste. I mean, I'm calling you names because that's what you are.